in this video I'm gonna show you the application scope attribute but unfortunately we haven't uh, talked about uh, controller device and interceptor so in this video the only way we can talk about to have a application wide attribute is through http serverless api which is not that good because spring mvc is designed to be http agnostic which means no longer using any http serverless api in the application you can have you have you can using the wrapper method pro, wrapper class wrapper method or interface provided by spring but so far we have no other choice we have to using http serverless api which is a serverless context uh, almost identical just have a slightly uh, change because Spring provides the dependency injection, so it's easier to grab the serverless context. So now let me show you. I'm going to create a new uh, class called uh, application scope attribute controller. Okay, and then I'm going to annotate with the controller and uh, to protect my request mapping url i made a I add a offset here okay and here i will have a public string called a set application scope attribute okay and here i will have a get mapping which is a slash and uh, how to set yes we have to use in serverless api you can get s e r v l e servlet context servlet context and uh, you can add a uh, auto add you can either do a uh, set based dependency injection construct based dependency injection here i just using property based dependency injection okay because it's uh, short and uh, how to do that you have to using serverless context dot set attribute okay then you give a key like a uh, 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 application name okay then give an application name like this one is model uh, scope model scope of the attributes and you can do you can forward to another page like uh, you can return to a page uh, redirect doesn't matter like call application display okay and uh, you can using get mapping and the slash uh, what should i say slash uh, uh, display and then public string uh, display okay and that return to uh, a application app scope attribute dot gsp okay so i'm gonna create this gsp and then i just add a paragraph okay the paragraph gonna display for the application name like a app name okay so uh, from here you will see the behavior is similar to the session okay and if you after you what you can do is uh, you close the browser and reopen you can still see it and uh, what, can, what i can do is let me do here okay in my session score app attribute i still add this one i will still add uh, this one Okay, add this one called the application scope uh, attribute. Okay. Hmm? 
So that's it. Let me run and show you the result in the browser. It's deployed successfully. I'm gonna switch to the browser to show you the behavior. Run. Okay. So here, first I'm gonna go make a call to application slash slash. Obviously, you can see model scoped attribute. This is the application name I set, right? The value I set. And now I'm gonna make a call to session display slash session display directly. You can see in the slash session display because I didn't set any model attribute, but you can still access application scope attribute name. It's global. It's exactly same as you learn in uh, when you learn HTTP serverless APIs. Okay nothing special so hope this video you after you watch you understand about application scope attribute um, for application scope attribute i have a last comment which means you can remove it but if you don't remove it it's gonna be available in every gsp in every controller and uh, if you shut down your application then it's gone okay uh, see you in my next video and uh, goodbye.